Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys look on, uh, on the problem in your homework, you have some homework problems that are already in vertex form, right? So, you can graph just like we worked on that uh, worksheet. However, what's going to happen, though, if I say graph it and it's still in my quadratic form? So you can go back to what I already showed you today and what, I've, you know, what we already took a test on. Go back to the old method. Find the vertex or find the axis symmetry. Find the vertex. Plot the points. And all, do all that other kind of stuff. However, if you kind of like what we did today and you like doing the vertex form, you can always take a graph that's in quadratic form and convert it to vertex form. So here's the way I'm going to show you how to, you can convert it to our form so you guys can graph the equation. Sometimes, what we like, sometimes for a lot of you, it's easier doing it in vertex form, right? Because you just find the vertex and transformations. All right, so how are we going to convert from a quadratic form into vertex form? So first of all, we need to know quadratic form equals a, I'm sorry, ax squared plus bx plus c, and vertex form is y equals a times x plus, or x minus h squared plus k. So what you guys notice when looking at our form, we notice that this is what we call a perfect square, correct? This is a perfect square. Now, what did we learn how to find perfect squares? Rhymes with completing. Completing the square. The square, right? We completed the square. Remember, that's how we went from to find our perfect squares, we completed the square. So guess what? That's exactly what we're going to want to do here. Now before, when we solved by completing the square, what I did was, remember I, I took the 5 to the other side, right? We added the 5 to the other side. That was the first thing we did. But in, when finding it in vertex form, we don't, want a, we don't want a 5. We don't want a number on the other side. We want y by itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the 5 on the same side. All right? We're just not going to let it affect us. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put parentheses around my um, quadratic and my linear term. So I'm going to leave the 5 there. Rather than putting it on the other side, I'm going to leave it on the same side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at this and say, all right, I need to create this as a perfect square. Inside this parenthesis, I need to create a perfect square. So we did that, if you guys remember, by taking b divided by 2 and squaring it. So negative 2 divided by 2 squared equals 1. So therefore, I have y equals x squared minus 2x plus 1. Right? Now, if you guys remember, whenever we added one to one side, we had to add one to the other side, right? But again, I don't want anything with this y. I want the y by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to the same side. OK? Let me go and see if this makes sense. You guys said 3 equals 3, right? Whatever you do on one side, you have to do the other side. So it remains true, right? Okay. What about if I do the exact opposite operations to the same side? What if I do 3 equals 3 plus 1 minus 1? Are those still equal equations? Yeah. So as long, since I'm adding 1, I can still just subtract 1. That's fine. You just need to make sure you, you have to make sure you subtract it, though, rather than adding it to the same side, right? OK. So now we've done a lot of these. So I'm not going to go through it so slowly. But here's our perfect square trinomial. We, now we can know we can write a perfect square trinomial as a perfect square. So I can write this as y equals x minus 1 squared minus 6. And guess what I have now? An equation that's in vertex form, right? And we could go and say, all right, well, now the new vertex is at 1 comma 6, right? And you could go and graph it from there, just like you guys did on your homework or on your worksheet. OK? Yes? OK. Remember, uh, I'll go and try anything. You guys got to remember, uh, remember our factoring?